Welcome back to Lizard Son of Anarchy YouTube channel. Uh, this is not a good subject. This video. It was caused by Vic Roads and the Victorian government not doing road repairs. We come across this section of road on the Epping to Kilmore Road, going over the Mary Creek. The slick surface which is the tar that's came to the surface, there's no stone in it, we hit that, four bikes went down and one car went off the road, I'm lucky to not be hit by that car, it ended up beside me, if it had to hit me it would have run over me and killed me. Yeah, two of us were on new new bikes, mine just on 8,000 kilometres, had a service only days before, was in excellent working condition, has ABS and traction control. I didn't even get to apply the brakes when I was off the road. Damo had a bike that was 24 hours old. Same thing. Yeah. Top of the range, has traction control, ABS. He was down. And he only just got that bike from an incident very similar to this. Pat and Deb come off, they got hurt, they run over by another bike, Pat got a broken leg, Adam came down as well, five bikes were damaged, it's not good enough for roads, you had this road marked for repairs, which I will show everyone in the video. After I've even phoned up and complained about the road, there is only one slippery when wet sign that's only cardboard basically screwed onto a pole from the direction where we had the accident. From the other direction they've put up three signs. Not good enough. If someone gets killed there, it's on you. Yes, the conditions, the road was wet. It wasn't raining, the road was wet. It was shiny, but you and weren't expecting what we've marks. got. That's why I've gone out the next day in the dry and taken video. Here. To put things into perspective, I parked the motorcycle in the same spot as where I parked that one after we picked it up, which is slightly down the road further than where I was. Ended up down here in the ditch. Pat's come off in a different spot to me because he's ended up a lot further down the road. Bike. We're sliding along on the road with my head six inches from the front wheel of another bike. So I could have been injured too. I've only got a slight bruise on my leg, which I will show in the video. Pat Yesterday has many years of experience. Bike. Due to the road service. And he was I'm just stunned. He didn't know what had this happened. This is all that happened to my wet whip here. Had bikes slip round under him before, but never like this. And what's on happened? Richmond. That should have been ripped to no. pieces, not just We're this. only doing 75k an hour. The speed limit is so 80k an hour. But even at that speed, we're, we're prepared. how I came off, From bike gear I should have been hurt a lot more than what I have been. You'll see the mud there where I rolled into the dirt. The red circle here is where the press stud of my pants must have pushed into my chin. See this? There's no stone there, that's just tar. People going, oh, we hit black ice. We didn't hit any black ice. You can see the tracks where the car went in there. Look at this surface, look. No traction at all. Just about pouring the water on. Just just my boot, put a little bit wet. No stone. Look at that sliding. See that stack mark there? Have them marked out there.
Bia. This is where the car is in the ditch. These roads here will be mined. See this? There's no stone there, that's just tar. A number on this house. We get the exact location. So as you see, the other end has a couple of signs. This has one. It's on space to you on it. You can see the sign of the road there we, we lost control yesterday. Friends of mine, Paul and Whitey from Hogs Cogs and Two Aussie Flogs, have been going on about how the government won't Friends? fix the roads for potholes Friends and the dangers to people. Well, here is the other danger slick surfaces. It's not the first time I've been off the road due to surfaces like this. Dirty. 